Greetings viewers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we've got another tool haul. This is a little tool haul, only two items, another German tool haul. In the last video, we had a few tools from Hazette and Stahlvilla. Uh, we've got another item from Hazette and another item from Stahlvilla today. Um, don't kill me, I know some of you don't like the tool videos, you want the Subaru content. Uh, parts are ordered for the sandbar, but unfortunately, uh, uncultured me did not realize that there was a week-long holiday in Japan and everything is shut down. So it's probably going to be sometime next week late at the earliest before I get some of the parts to start coming in for the sandbar where we can start doing uh, repair videos. Uh, may go ahead and order a set of rocker cover or cam cover gaskets for the cross trek and go ahead and do the replacement. Uh, as I noted in the inspection video, they were seeping slightly and I'm pretty sure it's due to the valve spring recall being performed and the dealership most likely reusing the old gasket with a bunch of three bond uh, gum to it. Uh, so may go ahead and get that going and in the works. Um, I do have a few other uh, talking point Subaru videos in my head I'm kicking around just need to put them to film and um, as usual any of you that have any suggestions for videos content you would like to see again you have to remember that there's some things I can't shoot there's you know I've got to have particular cars to shoot videos on a particular model or vehicle or I have to have one with an issue if you want to see a video on that issue so it's kind of limited as to what I can shoot at any given time but again, I compile a list and keep it with me. So if I do run into that, I can make a video on it. That aside, that out of the way. Uh, to our German tool haul. So ordered this stuff on Amazon.de, which is the German Amazon site. Uh, I believe I placed the order last Friday and this stuff arrived to me via DHL on Tuesday. So really quick shipping from Germany. Uh, if I recall correctly though, this stuff shipped from parts, uh, from Barcelona, uh, not directly out of Germany. So without further ado, let's get into what I got. As I said, this is a small tool haul. It's only two items. Um, I do plan to buy some more stuff from Stahlvilla and a couple more Hazette things, but uh, nothing too crazy from the Germans. Uh, I do prefer having the Japanese stuff. Uh, first on the list is something I thought was pretty unique and I wanted to get um, just because in the last video uh, you saw that I got the little Azette quarter inch, the 863 HP, the 92, 120 newton meter rated uh, comfort grip ratchet. Uh, this has quickly become my favorite quarter inch ratchet. absolutely love it. Uh, I find myself grabbing it over my Stahlvilla. Uh, Snap-on, Mac, Matco, Koken, Nepros, Bacham. I can go on and on. I've got basically every manufacturer's quarter inch at this point. But uh, I really, really love this 92 Fazette. Um, it's just a great little ratchet. So uh, I saw that the, um, I'm not sure how they pronounce it. It's H-I-P-E-R. I don't know if it's Hyper or Hipper, but it's for high performance. Uh, it's their 92 high tooth count you know, quote unquote, extra professional range that they just came out with, I believe in 2018, which was Hazette's 150th anniversary. Um, I might be incorrect on some of the dates and stuff. Sorry, but I'm pretty sure that's what I remember going off of memory here. Uh, so this is the 916 HPLG. This is their half inch version, 90 tooth as well, but this is an extendable ratchet. It goes from 414 millimeters to 614 millimeters. And if I recall correctly offhand, I believe that's 16 some odd inches to 24.1 inches. Um, the astounding thing about this ratchet um, is that it is rated for 1000 Newton meters of braking force. That is 737 foot pounds of torque. As far as I recall from training, I don't think our snap on half inches are rated for that kind of power and I really doubt Mac or Matcos are either. Um, this is an extendable ratchet, as I said, and I've always thought that extendable ratchets were pretty hokey in the past. Uh, I used to carry on my Snap-on truck the Easy Red extendable, 
and uh, there was another one. I can't recall what manufacturer it was from, though. But they always felt like a gimmicky, hokey thing. I figured if you wanted a long ratchet, buy a purpose-built long ratchet. If you want a short ratchet, buy a purpose-built short ratchet. But this thing is built like a tank. Um, I don't really, if you know me, don't like to uh, talk about German engineering when it comes to the vehicles because I'm not a fan of German vehicles and uh, they're engineered to fail parts. But uh, when it comes to tools, the Germans seem to have it figured out, especially Hazette that's now in their 152nd year of manufacturing. But uh, these things, this thing is heavy, heavy duty. You can just tell by the feel of it that it is uh, meaning some serious business. So this is the ratchet here. You've got this nice knurled collar. You twist the collar to unlock, extend the ratchet, turn the collar back to lock it in place. Now your uh, slightly long handled half inch is now an extra long half inch. Uh, really useful. Uh, the thing I liked about it was one that I've already liked the quarter inch version. I like the way their comfort grip handles are and I like the mechanism. This is an FOD ratchet, a FOD ratchet, which means it is rated for aviation use or anywhere uh, where foreign object damage is an issue. As I talked about in some of the other videos, I think it was the other German uh, tool haul video about the Stavilla and the small Hazet being FOD ratchets compared to like say a Snap-on where they use screws in the face plate or in the back to hold the face plate on. Uh, you know, those can come out and can find their way into jet engine or something else, which would be bad news in flight. So these have no external fasteners. I believe they've got a snap ring retention here in the front to hold the mechanism in. And, uh, you know, you don't have to order a special ratchet with snap on. You have to order ratchets that have uh, the face plates riveted in place rather than screwed in place uh, to meet that FOD requirement uh, for aviation and other industries that require that. Um, so, haven't got to use it yet. I've had it for a couple of days now, but I just now did the unboxing for the video. So, haven't tested it out on anything, but if it holds up and performs as well as the 92 version did, I will be uh, greatly pleased with this purchase. Uh, we will compare it in a little bit to a Snap-on version and Mac version, so you can see the size of the head. Uh, size the overall length of the handle fully extended compared to them and uh, just take a look at that. Uh, but next up on the list, second thing I got was another wrench uh, another wrench set from uh, Stahlvilla. This is the 23/8 set. This is their Corona 23 wrench. Funny, I know. I just thought it was fitting that here for 2020, I buy a set of uh, Stavilla Corona wrenches. If you follow my Instagram, you might've seen the post the other day. Uh, so happened to post a picture of them laid out and happened to get frame center, the 19 millimeter uh, Corona ratchet, which I uh, wrench. And uh, I did that by mistake. I didn't do it intentionally. And uh, someone pointed it out that it was funny that I did Corona in 19, so. But uh, what these are is a double offset wrench, uh, like the Stabil 20 wrenches I bought in the last video. Uh, these are just a shallow offset, they're not a deep offset. I believe it's 15 degrees on either angle, on either end. Um, just something I wanted. They were, I think, 70, 80 bucks from Amazon uh, DE from Germany. Uh, the Stavilla wrenches are really high quality. Um, I, I wasn't a fan of the Mac Chrome when I first got them, but the Mac Chrome is definitely growing on me, uh, as well as the forging marks in them and how they leave them a little bit rough and not truly uh, finished, polished, perfect like, uh, you know, Mac Co, Mac, or snap on wood a wrench set. But, um, you know, this is a particular wrench I did not have in uh, snap on Mac or Mac Co. Uh, something I'd seen used this style of wrench um, in, as I said before, on my sandbar videos that have been watching some Japanese auto repair videos and uh, find them really 
really interesting, even though, you know, I have no idea what they're saying most of the time uh, due to it being Japanese and I'm not speaking it fluently, only knowing a few words. And uh, the subtitles normally are auto-generated in English and poor translation from YouTube. Uh, but I saw them using these offset, double offset wrenches quite a bit. I believe most of them are using uh, KTC, Kyoto Tool Company version or Tone version. Uh, I do have a large Japanese tool haul on the way. It just shipped out, I think, last night, and it should be here Monday. Uh, we got some stuff from Tone. I haven't ordered anything from Tone on the other videos. I've got some more Koken Z-Series stuff coming. And I believe I had uh, something else from KTC, but I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, these uh, Stahlvilla Coronas, uh, again, nothing uh, too special to see other than checking out these wrenches in detail because it is a beautiful set. Um, just something I wanted and didn't have in my tool arsenal. One thing that uh, I noticed about the Stabil wrench set was the fact that they just came in a plain cardboard box. I thought it was a little odd. Uh, these Coronas came packaged just the same. And speaking with a friend of mine that is a German tool enthusiast, it's just that uh, Stahlvilla and uh, Hazette as well I like to package in a biodegradable, earth-friendly packaging, which is, hey, all for it. You know, cardboard is uh, plentiful and cheap. And, uh, you know, I really don't need a tray to put these in. I can put them, lay them out in my drawer. And, uh, you know, less plastic in the landfill. So good for Stavilla. So that basically does it for the video. Uh, we're going to go really quickly and show you the Snap-on and Matco uh, half-inch ratchets compared to the Hazette. And uh, I'll probably give you some beauty shots of these tools and uh, end it out there. All right, guys, here we have the Hazette 916 and a Snap-on SL80A. Uh, the Snap-on is a little bit fatter at the bottom. The Hazette is more tear-shaped uh, as well as thickness. They're nearly identical. And uh, you can see at the front plate how the Hazette tapers down, more tear-dropped. Now comparing the Matco 88 tooth compared to the Hazette 90, you see the Matco is much broader. Um, it is a little more shallow side by side. Uh, the actual head, but drive to drive, the Hazette is just barely, uh, probably a quarter inch or so taller. But uh, there's your look. I know I don't have a straight neck Matco half inch. I've only got this locking flex. Uh, so not exactly sure how much different the straight neck Matco half inch is, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty much the same mechanism. And as far as overall length goes, we'll lay them out on the tailgate here. So we'll put the camera down. We're going to have the 30 inch Matco locking flex, the Snap-on SHLF-80A, which is a long handle flex head, I believe 25-ish inches on it. And that's counting uh, from the comfort grip up. And then we will put the Hazette beside that, which is 24.1 inches fully extended. So there you can see the comparison. The Hazette is just barely smaller than the Snap-on. Uh, like I said, about an inch and then five inches between the Snap-on and the Matco. Again, we measure from the top of the pressed on. Comfort grip up is where the measurement's taken from. It's not taken from the back of the handle, although the Matco is much longer than 30 inches when you include that large comfort grip handle. It does have the largest comfort grip handle. The Snap-on has the second longest and the Hazette has the shortest. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.